back everyone to what I hope is a cozy space on the internet. Today we are venturing into sort of uncharted territory, the bathroom. Now this is typically my partner's task, but life's been busy for him, so I've bravely stepped in to help out. I'm not gonna lie, bathroom duty isn't usually my favorite task, but you know what? There's something oddly satisfying about turning chaos into calm. The transformation is almost instant and it leaves me with this little sense of instant achievement. Unlike some never-ending chores like laundry or organization that seem to pile up the moment you finish, this is a quick win. Well, maybe just a quicker win. It's a simple, gratifying task where the progress is visible. Let's savor the small victories and bask in that feeling of progress, even if it's just for a little while. Now, I know a lot of us don't particularly enjoy cleaning, and it's easy to focus on the negatives. The grime, the effort, the time it takes. But what if we flipped that perspective a little? I'd like to remind myself that having a bathroom to clean is actually a blessing. It's something we tend to take for granted, but it's such a crucial part of our home, our sanctuary. When I'm scrubbing away, I think about how lucky I am to even have this space. A space that provides comfort, cleanliness, and a place to unwind after a long day and be able to take a hot bath in. Some people don't have that luxury, and when I see it through that lens, even the mess doesn't seem quite so bad. It makes me appreciate the space in a whole new way, and that changes the energy I bring to the task. Cleaning becomes less of a chore and more of an act of gratitude for what I have. So with that in mind, let's dive in. The bathroom is probably one of the messiest areas in our home, especially since we only do a deep clean every week or so. I mean, it definitely gets some love in between, but the big thorough scrub down, it doesn't really happen as often as I'd like. So I start by taking everything out, our skincare products, the towels, the bits and bobs that we tend to leave on all the surfaces, and I clear the floor space too. Getting everything out of the way gives me a blank canvas to work with. And you know, there's something so symbolic about that, right? When we declutter a physical space, it feels like we're clearing out the mental clutter too. Just looking at an empty, clean slate already makes me feel lighter, ready to dive in with a fresh mindset. Before putting anything back, I like to dust everything down and make sure that everything's clean. Most of my skincare lives in the bathroom because it's just so much more convenient for me. Otherwise, let's be real, I'll forget to use it. Plus, our bathroom doesn't really get that much direct sunlight, so it's perfect for keeping everything safe from sun damage. I always start with the sink area because that's where all the splashes and water spots are and it's also the area that feels the most rewarding to clean. Once the sink is spotless, it sets the tone for the rest of the bathroom. It's like a little victory in itself, one that gives me momentum to keep going. And I think in life, we all need those little wings to keep us moving forward. After the sink, I move on to the mirror above it. Here's a tip I've learned from experience and frustration. Never clean the mirror first. Trust me, you'll only end up with more splashes after cleaning the sink. So I save the mirror for last in this area. A simple glass cleaner and a microfiber cloth works wonders, or you can just use some napkins or like some of these harder, rougher napkins that I'm also using. And I love this part. Again, there's something almost symbolic about looking into a clean mirror. Like you're not just seeing a clearer version of the room, but a clearer version of yourself. It's such a small thing and it might even sound silly, but it makes a difference. It's a reminder that even when things get messy, they can get cleaned up with a little patience and care and back to normal. Next up, the toilet. Oh yeah, probably not everyone's favorite task, but definitely one of the most important ones. 
I grab my disinfectant cleaner and I give the toilet a thorough scrub, I pay attention to all their little nooks and crannies and also try to clean the outside as much as the inside. This might be the least glamorous part of the job, but hygiene is so important, especially in a bathroom. It's one of those tasks that may not be fun, but when it's done, you feel so much better knowing that everything's spotless and fresh. And while I'm at it, I think again about how lucky I am to have this space. A clean, functional bathroom is such a simple, but yet such a thing that we often overlook. But when we take care of it, we're really taking care of ourselves. I always finish off by spraying a bit of air freshener or lighting a candle. It's like the final touch. A way to leave the room feeling welcoming and peaceful for whoever steps in next, even if it's just me. It's funny how something as small as a fresh scent can change the whole atmosphere of a space. It's a reminder that it's not just about cleanliness. It's about creating a space that feels good, a space that reflects the love and care that we put into our home. At the end of the day, cleaning the bathroom might just seem like a small, mundane task that no one wants to do. But it's also a way to care for the spaces that take care of us. Our homes are so much more than just a roof over our heads. They are where we rest, where we connect, where we recharge. And by keeping them clean, organized and inviting, we're honoring that space and showing ourselves some love in the process. So the next time you find yourself cleaning, try to think of it as more than just a chore. It's a chance to reflect, to reset and to be grateful for the little things we so often overlooked. Because at the end of the day, it is the little things that make a house a home. I hope you enjoyed this few minutes of cleaning motivation and hopefully a little bit of gratitude as well. And I shall see you guys next time. If you do like this type of videos, I would really appreciate it if you'd like and subscribe to my channel because I am posting two times a week and leave a comment down below saying what do you feel grateful for that is sometimes overlooked. I'd be really interested to, to hear your thoughts about that as well. See you next time, bye!